Why Equity, Not Equality America's founding documents enshrine equality, so why am I focusing on equity? First, let's unpack the difference between these terms. Equality is when everyone has the same thing. Equity is when everyone has what they need to thrive and participate fully. Equity does not fault people for being different. It makes room for difference and then leverages it. In other words, equitable cultures, systems, and organizations are designed so everyone in the system has an equal chance to thrive. By thrive, I mean they have an equal chance to do work that fulfills them, live life authentically, and contribute their strengths to the community, organization, or culture of which they are a part. This does not mean equality is bad. Sometimes equality is the appropriate response. In the movement for marriage equality, for example, separate but equal solutions like civil unions tip the scales in favor of injustice and second-class status for LGBTQ plus Americans. Only marriage equality could bring LGBTQ plus Americans the rights they deserve. But in other instances, Equitable solutions, which allow for different approaches based on different needs, are sometimes ideal. Equity has always been the middle child in the diversity, equity, and inclusion, DEI, space. The concept we all acknowledge is important, but often hop over to address feelings of inclusion. And I get why. Focusing on feelings is an easier and better way to promote DEI. Equity is more about strategy and systems concepts that can make people's heads hurt. Personally, however, I care much more about equity than inclusion. Both are important, but the former drives the latter. Inclusion without equity is toothless. Organizations end up talking about how to make people feel more included without doing the hard systems redesign that actually yields equal pay, more diverse leadership teams, and other signs of equal access to opportunity. Originally from English law, the concept of equity was developed to supplement, aid, or override common and statute law in order to protect rights and enforce duties fixed by substantive law. In other words, it allowed societies to live the spirit of the law rather than the letter of the law. The legal concept of equity recognizes that people with power must use discretion when meeting out legal decisions to ensure fairness. Equity in the workplace is about designing a system, a culture, or an organization so that everyone has an equal shot, however they may define what they are shooting for, success, happiness, work-life, balance, etc. It's not about socialism versus capitalism or communalism versus independence. Rather, Equity recognizes our interdependence and uses our collective power to create an environment where we all thrive and contribute our strengths. Moreover, equity gets us out of the hard work of constantly going against the system by creating a system that makes it easy to opt into inclusive and equitable behaviors. Instead of looking for women to promote, for example, equity builds a system where women's needs are centered, thereby Having women in positions of leadership becomes logical and natural. A more detailed discussion of gender equity follows in Chapter 1. To be clear, I am not calling for the design of an idealistic utopia. To paraphrase a Buddhist expression, the world is strewn with rocks and thorns, trying to carpet it all is a fool's errand. I am intimately aware that life is inherently unfair. Even if we were to solve all human-made injustices in the world, people would still die tragically and develop incurable diseases. By the end, life breaks everyone's heart. However, amid such unfairness and heartbreak, I believe that the greatest expression of our humanity is the creation of fairness. In my mind, it rivals the creation of beauty and the expression of truth, which have been human pursuits since we were drawing on the inside of caves. Equity is how our human soul resists the temptation of revenge born of grief and sorrow. It is a virtue that leads us to a higher expression of our true nature. It's how we embrace interdependence so that we can design systems that work as well for others as they do for ourselves.